There are so many different shooting techniques in photography and panning with a long exposure is one of my favorites. Ciao, I'm Ben and I'm one of two creators of Chapter 6. The panning technique consists of staying in one spot and tracking a moving subject. So you would basically be focused in on the subject and then tracking it as it moves along. Hopefully that it stays in complete focus along the way. In order to get this blurry effect, you need to keep your shutter speed pretty low, usually under 1 over 60. I tend to keep it between 1 over 30 to 1 over 15, uh, but this depends on your preferences and the speed of the moving subject. I like to use this technique when shooting cars, especially in an event like Mille Miglia, as you can see in these pictures. It's a great storytelling tool to use as it shows action and excitement. With this method you can also focus on one subject only, as the rest of the frame is pretty much blurred. I mainly shoot in digital, which is actually easier for long exposures because you can spray shots and then pick your favourite one in Lightroom, unlike film which you can only have one shot. You could also do the opposite of panning and focusing on the still subject and let whatever moving in the frame become blurry, just like this picture. I like to shoot in longer exposures to make the story more interesting and have a variety of photos. You can use this technique for your personal shoots or even for your commercial shoots. I believe it always adds an element to your portfolio that not many utilize. If you've reached the end of the video, let me know in the comments if you like this method or if you've learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our socials linked below. Thank you for watching and see you next week.